Hello everyone, welcome back to Roller Dynamics 101. Today we'll explore thermal expansion in steam turbines, a crucial factor affecting their performance and reliability. To increase turbine output, steam flow is raised, introducing more heat into metal components, causing them to expand. So turbine operators must carefully control steam flow and temperature. Rapid increases can lead to uneven expansion, potentially distorting critical components. If the rotor expands unevenly, eccentricity increases, affecting balance. The shaft and rotor may develop a slight bow due to thermal distortion, and centrifugal forces exacerbate this imbalance. Eccentricity is dangerous because it reduces radial clearance between rotating and stationary components. Turbine operators can monitor and record eccentricity at the control board. For some turbines, an eccentricity of 5 mil is considered excessive. 5 mil means 5 thousandths of an inch, or it is equal to 0.127 millimeter. High eccentricity also increases bearing vibration, signaling potential issues. Radial expansion is relatively small, but axial expansion is much more significant. In fact, axial expansion between cold and full load conditions can reach 1 to 2 inches. To accommodate this, turbine casing are designed to expand axially often using sliding feet at the governor pedestal. At the same time, the rotor is expanding, but in the opposite direction. Since the thrust bearing holds the high pressure end, the rotor and the casing expand at different rates. Unfortunately, they don't expand at the same rate. Because the rotor is lighter than the casing, the rotor heats up and expands faster. During startup, Rapid rotor expansion increases the risk of blade contact with the stationary component. To prevent this, load changes must be carefully managed to keep differential thermal expansion within safe limits. At startup, it typically increases to 100 to 150 mil before stabilizing. If this limit is exceeded, loading must be restricted to avoid damage. As the casing continues to expand, the differential stabilizes around 50 mil. During shutdown, the reverse occurs, which means the rotor contracts faster than the casing. This causes differential expansion to shift into negative zone. Manufacturers specify safe differential expansion limits for both positive and negative values. Also, the governor pedestal's expansion position is monitored. After a short overnight shutdown, the rotor contracts faster than the casing, leading to negative differential expansion, indicating a hot restart is required. That is all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.